desperation, frustration. They say that golf is a game played in the six inches between your ears, a game impossible to master, deceptively simple, but endlessly complex. To excel at this ancient game, you must harness the power of your mind, spirit, and body. For one man, those six inches between the ears work on a different plane. If you make a birdie, and I make a par, I want you to have the honor of the next first tee shot, Maruchi! If Hagen was here, if he hit a purposefully shorter tee shot, what if he was ambling to his ball? and his playing partner had got to his further drive and already hit. Oh! No, 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 no! No! I may be a shorter hitter than you, but at least allow me the chance to put you under pressure! Yes! Yes, Maruche! Honor. Virtue. Tradition. The underlying factors of the game. Before one can embark on golf's journey, one must grapple with its eccentricity. As Walter Hagen said, it is the addition of strangeness to beauty that constitutes the romantic character in art. This is the same. So we'll see the famous whitest fairway in golf. That's what you're all about. Speed and power. So I trust you as you tell me. Get it done. Yeah, we'll get it done. <laughs> we all must find our areas of expertise. Have you noticed this is an Octoroni club? Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Um, My guess was a hundred years. Would you have a? That would be, yeah, so that would be roughly, because, it, the, the, so the way you can tell is, see, that's, it's called a socket. Mm. So the head's been drilled and the shaft inserted. Yeah, we noticed this. Uh, the, 
yeah. yeah. The, the first one was called a scared neck, mm. so it was cut on an angle, and the shaft was cut on an angle, and then they stuck stuck the head together. Mm -hmm. So and also that's been done by this machine line. So so I would say that's about nineteen twenty five. Would like you? The, yeah. My my nana, she's a hundred. Uh -huh. And for and I had an idea it was about a hundred years old and kind of for romantic reasons I said it's the same age as her so my guess was yeah. 1924. Right, okay, Funny, nice isn't it? We were right about there. Yeah. And uh, hopefully yes, she's sure. in good condition as this. Yes, she's in incredible condition. Some kind of fishing vibes. Here. Just pulls yes, so that this is just linseed oil. That. So it just all it does is just stops the wood from drying out. Lovely. Maybe a bit of whiskey in there, you know, I don't know if I'll be drinking it. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic, okay. thank you. Good as new. It's not looking bad for a hundred years old. <laughs> yes, Marucci. Yes. Happy job. Beautiful, huh? The joy is such that there was a possibility of a few tears that have gone beyond that. The pure, pure light joy. I'm going to have a little bit of this. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah. What is your fault? That's really cool. I'll take your hand again. Yeah, yeah. That's fantastic. Nice That's Good really cool, huh? How cool is that, huh? That is fucking brilliant. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've been drinking some of that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we got sorted. Very good. We got sorted. We got sorted. The home of golf is just that. It's had the game coursing through its veins for nearly 500 years. The people of the town unite in one common fascination. said the same thing. Jack, Tiger, Bobby, you attack the golf course with your mentality, not your swing. One look and your brain has all the information it needs and there's just a fixed gaze on the ball and then the field goes inside. And then, then the landscape comes back into focus. I guess the challenge here is to look, observe, and then give it a loop. In a different train of thought, I mean, it's pretty scary, isn't it? For your first pitch of the day when you're just off the aeroplane, you see the bunker, the pin just behind it, the people in their gardens watching you pull it off, try to pull it off. The temptation there is to guide it. No, no, no! No! Well, thankfully for me, I've been through all that. And I pulled it off. I observed. I, I wouldn't say disassociate, but I freed myself of the tension of the target. And I gave it the loose goose. You saw that. Nonetheless, uh, I got a funny kick, but the result could have... I could have gone in the bunker, I could have gone off the back. When in that case, because there had been no tension, that's okay. I can observe. I might even...
you want to go for the green? Do you want to go for the green? I just want to hit a little seven iron down the fairway. You can still make birdie that way. That'd be all right. Do you want to go for the green? Okay! Might have a little chance, Marucci. I mean, it went off the back, but I've kind of done it. I've driven the green. And now what about that eagle and that birdie I was talking about? And I've got a pitch from a tight line. I'm afraid, okay? I'm afraid! And has it crossed my mind to use butter from here? Yes! And I don't know what your approach is to these things, and I don't know what my approach is going to be tomorrow! But today I'm going to embody that fear, Marucci! And I'm not going to play just a little pitch! I'm going to play a full brother flop shot in response! Was it pretty? But do I have a little birdie putt? And a feeling of momentum? Yes, Marucci! <laughs> yes! This is tricky. Ah! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that was very fast, wasn't it? There was a little moment. Did you have that where you thought I was going to go in? It was nearly worth it for that moment, wasn't it? Ah. I would call that a virtuous bogey. Golf echoes the ups and downs of life itself. Success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. One of the things golf teaches us is to be humble. Breathe out! Yes, Marucci!